Hi guys, Todd here. Uh, right, this is a quick intro. We're going to be having a look at the Venturi. Uh, this is a rebuilt and advanced rebuildable dripping atomizer, no less, as it says in the box. Uh, this is it here. Now, this is going to be stocked by cloud9vaping.co.uk. And uh, yeah, I've had this for a wee while. I had uh, some issues with it, which were mainly down to me getting used to it. And, uh, but we got there, and I'll show you all that and discuss it. Let's go in for some close ups and see what it's all about. Okay, here we go. The Vin Venturi. Uh, comes really well presented. Uh, I mean, this is, I'm just double checking here, $89.95. Uh, on the box, there's the top caps that you're going to get. Let's just cut to it and show you what's inside the box. So, inside the box, you're going to get a little card, just like this. And then you get all this. Look at all the bits. Do you know, sometimes I reckon that the more bits you get, the better value you're getting. Is that wrong? Anyway, uh, right, I'm going to pull all this out and then we'll run through it. So here we go, we've got inside the box, we have three top caps. We have the Stratus, the Classic, and the Brake. Did I get that right? That's definitely the Brake. That's definitely Stratus, and that's definitely the Classic. Yeah, that's the right way around. So we've got three top caps. I'm going to take these two out of the way just now. Uh, we're going to use the, the Brake. Uh, I'll just give you a quick look around them. So that's, that's the Stratus, and you're thinking, look at the size of that chamber, that's obscene, don't worry. That's the classic. You can see that they've all got, like, both of these slits in the top cap. This is where your air gets drawn in, is in this slit. So the same thing applies to this one, the brake. If you look in there. See that there's holes at the top, you know, cut into here. And this is where your air is going to get drawn down. It's, in, in that respect, it's quite similar to the Immortalizer version 2, the, the latest Immortalizer. But, uh, so that's the top cap. Here's our deck. Now, you do have to build this up when it arrives. So, you'll see here that we've got a, a gold-plated positive post. So, the first thing we need to do is pop this in and just screw this up. That's me screwed it right in. Here's all the screws. So I'm going to need three of these bad boys. So there's six in total there. So that's three spare. So there I am. I've got my three screws in there. Now hopefully you can notice there that seeing the positive post, you've actually got four holes. See there's two on either side there. And so there's two in the back as well. And it's got an incredibly deep deck going on here. Going back to the top cap having a massive chamber, well, this is where this bad boy comes in. This actually sits on there. This kind of looks familiar. Uh, either K Fun, Diver, you know, Sophia, they've all got this narrowing of the neck here. Uh, so this creates a really tiny little chamber for you. What happens is you've got your Cyclops eye here and it's going to sit in front of this one here and so you can adjust this to you know adjust your airflow like so and you've got a dual coil so you can do it in both sides so what I'll do first is I'm going to stick a couple of coils uh, do you know I don't know if I'm going to go single or dual uh, I'll, do, I'll do dual coil what the hell now, I never laid any claim to being the sharpest tool in my shed, but uh, I, I don't know. What, what I've done is I've put a couple of coils on there, okay? Uh, but I've tried to get them as centred as possible because 
I don't know for for whatever reason. I I just want them to be sitting almost directly in line with the middle of the cyclops eye there. Um, it's just I think that's where the air is going to come up. So that's where I've put them, rather than having them one completely on one side and one completely on the other. It's just trying to have them both straight above there. Now, hopefully, what you'll be able to see here is that I've I've taken the I've got my coil and I've taken the the cotton through each side I've left a gap below and just had the cotton lying in the bottom of the deck but leaving that cyclops eye open so that the air can get through there and come up and hit the coil or at least that's the plan uh, but we'll see how that goes now this is me I'm all just up here I'm on uh, my Chang box uh, DNA 30 and uh, cooking my gas there. Now this is where it goes a bit strange. This is where we take this wee guy. Uh, so what you have to do is decide what your airflow is going to be. So you push that down like that and you know you can set your airflow. You've got fully adjustable airflow there. However, and this is so sad, I hate the fact, I hate this part. Um, however, that sits on there like so. Take the top cap of your choosing, pop that over there, and then screw this down. And there you have your device set up, and you pop your drip tip on there, and bang, you're away. However, that is now adjusted. Uh, I'd like to put a shout out to a guy called uh, Rudd Nelis, I think it is, in Holland, who's been a huge help with this device for me. Uh, what he suggested was, pop this on, get yourself a drip tip, make sure that the drip tip is one that's going to fit straight through that hole there. Pop your drip tip on. So I'm just going to... I'm going to set this to fully open. So I've got that fully open. I'm holding this in place with my fingers, popping the top cap over. Then I grab the drip tip, hold that in place, and then holding the drip tip in place, screw this top cap down. And I know for a fact that the airflow is set wide open because of I was holding this drip tip and it was holding the that funnel bit in place and, and that was it. So that is the best way to do it and once again thanks to Rudd for that suggestion is get a drip tip that fits through the hole there and kind of like use that. Now if we had mark, the other thing Rudd suggested, if we had a drip tip with a mark on it and you know something that corresponded here and we could turn this from side to side and it would turn that chamber inside and we could you know we could gauge where the airflow was by using an indicator on here it would be great but as it is that's it set up and uh, we're ready to vape so let's go right this is the the third fourth time i've recorded this uh, i've done previous edits and so on but i'm coming back to re-record the ending of this because well because well let's show you how it vapes first i'm uh, one ohm 14.3 uh, watts for some reason on the Chang box with a little Jim uh, Teflon drip tip. <laughs> Nearly went for a flyer there. Um, the flavour from this thing. Love it. Um, now it's not the first uh, dripper out there that's bringing the air down like that. Uh, you know, there's a few that do this. Uh, however, this does it quite well. Uh, and for that little chamber inside, um, whatever it's doing, I don't know. I'm not a. It just works. How can I? I can't say much more than that. It just works. It gives a really good flavour. Um, I'll put a few more drops in here. Now, putting a few drops in here, this is what I, I don't like. I like the current drippers that are out there in the market that have, you know, you can pull the top section off and you can see inside 
and you can just drip away and saturate the cotton and, and job done. Um, the thing about this one is you have to unscrew the top cap, lift the base off and then to get in and see it. That I don't like. I, I just, I like to have quick and easy access to the build inside. This is more like, yeah, drippers as the first, you know, you just don't see inside without taking it to bits. I've not had any leaking issues. It's it's not, there's the forget leaking with this thing. Yeah, it just, nah, it just doesn't seem, it's completely sealed down at the bottom. So that's a huge plus point. Build quality, looks and everything with the three top caps. You can get 17 other different top caps. You know, 10 out of 10. Uh, it really is, it's got, you know, if you don't like the look of this, you've got the other ones to choose from. The elephant in the room. When I first did this review, um, I basically ripped this device a new one at this point because of the adjustment of the airflow. I thought it was crap, bad, terrible hated it, wasn't a fan, because for me the way I was doing it, I was taking the top cap right off, adjusting so that I could find the my airflow and then holding it in place with the drip tip and then tighten it back down. Now I just hold it like that, back off the top cap just a tiny little bit found the drawer I want and tighten the top cap back down. Job done. It's not what I'm used to doing, which is why I hated it at first and everybody hates change. Um, but once you get your head around that, just holding the, you know, you get a, a drip tip that goes through the hole, you just, just back it off a tiny little bit and just go like that, find your perfect draw. Hold the top cap, the, the drip tip in place and tighten it back down. It works really well, it's dead easy, simple and... And that's it. And that's the whole reason I re-recorded this because even after lift, living with this for a wee bit and trying it out, it, it wasn't until a few days or a week had gone past that I actually became comfortable using this. When you first get it, adjusting the airflow, you will hate it. You'll probably hate it. But honestly, once you get used to it, it just kind of makes sense and you just kind of get used to it. It's not a big deal. Um, and the vape quality from it makes up for it as well. It's not what I would call a, a cloud chaser's dripper. But if you want to, um, you can open the airflow right up, crank the power up and get something like this. So yes, it will blow clouds at 30 watts, um, if you're daft enough to do that. God, it kills me. Sum this up, this is it. Good price, well built. Uh, I, I like this. Didn't think I was going to, hated it the first week I had it. Uh, just some advice from Rudd and stuff like that and I've got used to it and I really enjoy vaping with it now. Um, the build, building in it is dead easy. The centre post is it's a wee bit fiddly. Uh, it can be a little bit fiddly but uh, it's not the worst by a long shot. If you like the looks, if you like the customability, uh, customability? Is that a word? Anyway, uh, go for it. Give it a shot. Um, I, I really do enjoy it. Um, I don't enjoy it at 30 watts, however, because it's too much for me. I'm such a wimp. Thank you to the guys uh, for sending this on. Uh, once again, this is Venturi, uh, and you will be able to get this from cloud9vaping.co.uk very soon. That's it from me. Take care, guys. Bye.